All right, guys, it's time for our book for today. The book I chose is called A Frog Has a Sticky Tongue. This book is gonna be kind of like the feet book that we read a few days ago because this book is a science book that's gonna teach us real true things about animals. So let's get started and see what's inside. Here's the front cover of the book called A Frog Has a Sticky Tongue. This book is by Pamela Graham. All right, so let's take a close look at this frog with his sticky tongue. His sticky tongue is eating a cricket. Let's open it up and see what goes on in here. All right, here's the title page. A frog has a sticky tongue. A frog has a sticky tongue. And a frog has big eyes. What else has big eyes? Can you think of another animal that has big eyes? Let's see. Ooh, a tiger has big eyes. And a tiger has whiskers. All cats have whiskers, but let's look at this tiger's whiskers. His whiskers are white and it helps him feel things that are around him and smell things. A tiger has whiskers. What else has whiskers? Let's see. An otter has whiskers. Here's a little otter. He's swimming in the water. Otter water. Ah, that's a good rhyme. All right. An otter has whiskers. And an otter has webbed feet. Let's look closely at his feet. Webbed feet means that there's a connection between their toes with a little piece of skin that holds them together. So if I had my hand and there was something, a piece of skin that connected them right there and filled that in, that would be a webbed, okay? And webbed feet help animals to swim in the water and otters really like to swim. So an otter has webbed feet. What else has webbed feet? Can you think of another animal that swims and might need webbed feet to help them? Let's see. A, a penguin has webbed feet. Let's see, see that little piece of skin that's connecting his toes together? A penguin has webbed feet and a penguin has a beak. A beak is what a bird's nose is called else has a beak? Can you think of another animal that has a beak? An ostrich has a beak. We saw an ostrich in that um, Escape of Marvin the Ape book that we read last time. Here's an ostrich's beak. It looks a little bit different than the penguin's beak. The penguin's beak is long and pointy. The ostrich's beak is short and round at the end. I can see his nostrils right here, <laughs> like right there. That's his nostrils. An ostrich has a beak, and an ostrich has a long neck. What else has a long neck? I know an animal that has a long neck. I wonder if it's going to be the next page. Can you think of an animal that has a long neck? A giraffe has a long neck. There it is. He has to use his long neck to reach the leaves at the top of the tree to eat. A giraffe has a long neck and he has horns. I see two little horns on the top of the giraffe's head. What else has horns? Hmm. Can you think of an animal that has horns? I'm thinking of a deer. Deer have horns. I wonder if that's the next animal. Oh, it's not a deer. It's a goat. A goat has horns. And a goat has a hairy body. What else has a hairy body? Oh, I can think of a lot of animals that have a hairy body. A bear, a dog, lots of animals. Let's see what animal this book is talking about. A goat has a hairy body. What else has a hairy body? 
Well, I didn't think of that animal. A moth has a hairy body. This is a moth's face, his antennas, and you can see if you look really close, those fuzzy hairs on him. Wow, he's kind of cute. A moth has a hairy body and a moth has wings. What else has wings? Hmm. Can you think of something else? Another creature that has wings? Ah, a bee has wings. There's our little bumblebee. Be safe, be kind, be responsible. A bee has wings. And a bee has stripes. Let's see how many stripes this bee has. One, two, three, four. Four stripes. A bee has stripes. What else? has stripes. Let's look. Ooh, this is cool. A lionfish. A lionfish has stripes. Look at all those stripes. Wow. And a lionfish has spines. Spines are these pokey pokey things that are coming out on the top of his body. Spines. What else has spines? Can you think of another animal that has pokey spines coming out of their body? Maybe a porcupine or a hedgehog? Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. This kind of looks like a porcupine or a hedgehog, but this is called an echidna. An echidna has spines. I see it. And an echidna has a sticky tongue. He's sticking his tongue down so he can eat the, all the bugs that are in the dirt. An echidna has a sticky tongue. Do you remember from the beginning of the book what else has a sticky tongue? Mm, think back to the very beginning of the book, the title of the book. What else has a sticky tongue? has a sticky tongue. We're right back to the beginning with our frog's sticky tongue. The end. Oh, look, the pictures are the same. It's a match. Thanks for listening to our book today. I love you guys, and I'll see you with another story tomorrow.